Dr. Kyung Hee Kim is an internationally acclaimed researcher in the field of creativity. Her research has appeared in publications such as Newsweek, The Wall Street Journal, as well as in numerous international media. Kim's research studies and writings are relevant to academia as well as the general public as she raises important questions surrounding critical issues. For example, Kim's research discovered that there's only a negligible relationship between IQ and creativity. You can have a low IQ and be very creative, she says. According to the College of Education at the University of Georgia, Kim's work dropped a bombshell when the July 19, 2011 Newsweek cover story the Creativity Crisis reported significant decrease in creativity scores in American students since 1990. Kim also reported the Torrance test of creative thinking predicts creative achievement three times better than IQ tests. Her passion for her work captivates audiences. Through candid discussions of her childhood in South Korea, she reveals that through the support of one of her teachers at a young age, she became the first female from her village to go to high school and she eventually earned an American PhD. Thanks to that teacher, Kim avoided a future as a worker in a sock shop. Her achievements are also impressive because as she reveals, her parents were illiterate with only a first and third grade education. In the April 29, 2017 Creativity and Innovation blog, Dr. Kim's updated research revealed that during the 1990s, American politicians began to focus on test-taking skills to emulate Asian success. Today, high-stakes testing cost American taxpayers tens of billions of dollars each year, but she says the real cost is much higher in the loss of creativity. Patty and Rick regard Kim or KK very affectionately and admire her as an outstanding scholar. They converse with her and talk all things creative from social life to world-changing events. They consider her to be one of the most provocative thinkers they've met. Our favorite work, The Creativity Challenge, How Can We Recapture American Innovation? Our favorite quotation, Children have become less emotionally expressive, less energetic, less talkative and verbally expressive, less humorous, less imaginative, less unconventional, less lively and passionate, less perceptive, less apt to connect seemingly irrelevant things, less synthesizing, and less likely to see things from a different angle. Interesting trivia. When talking informally or socially, she thinks and speaks in a fun, rapid-fire manner. And if the conversation wanes or gets even slightly repetitive, she spurs it on with her signature comment. And then, 